Hey, so today is day 23 of my 30 Days of React Challenge, and today I have um, been playing with Redux. Kind of a bummer going back to basics with Redux after like getting to a point where I could kind of build um, slightly more complicated apps, but it's an important library to learn, so yeah. Today I built just a very, very simple app using very basic um, Redux, so I can kind of familiarize myself um, with the library. So what is Redux? It is a library which is used to kind of manage state at a global level with um, React. In React, normally you pass everything from child components, like you pass functions to alter your state down to child components. Um, but this can get really complicated if you have a large scale app with lots and lots of components, all of which are updating state. Like it can get messy and difficult to manage. So that's why um, Redux Redux was invented. Um, I mean, nothing I've created so far actually calls for Redux. I could only use it in a more complicated um, app, but I wanted to kind of at least familiarize myself so I have kind of some knowledge of it um, for the future. Spent quite a bit of time reading blog posts and watching videos trying to kind of um, familiarize myself with the concept. There are four terms that kind of get thrown around in all of these kind of blog posts and videos, which are the store, the reducer, an action, and a dispatch. So I'm going to kind of try and explain those through my simple app that I've built today. What I built is a very simple, um, I've called an ATM machine. So you start off with a balance and you withdraw funds by simply selecting the amount that you want to withdraw. It's kind of hard to know where to start. Um, <laughs> when explaining my code with Redux, because I'm still kind of under understanding how it all works myself. Like, I need to do a lot um, more practice before I fully understand. But I figure I'll start with the store. Um, the store in Redux is kind of a centralized JavaScript object that holds all of your state, which is accessible by all parts um, of your app. Um, we initialize the store in the index file. Um, if first, what we do is we need to like import everything we need to hook up products, which is here. Um, and then we create our store in this index file by just like creating a variable called store and creating it. Um, we then take our app and we wrap it in our store or our provider, um, which references our store, which makes um, our store globally available. I will attempt to explain the reducer. So I guess in previous apps, um, any kind of functions that update the state are um, all stored up here and you reference them. But when you're using Redux, you actually use something called a reducer to control all kind of functions and actions that are going to update your state. So this is my reducer here. And um, basically, what the reducer is, is it's just a function that takes in data as what is called a dispatch and does something to it based on an assigned action which is passed with this, that dispatch. So if we jump back here, <clears throat> we can see here I am on click, I'm referencing two kind of functions, withdraw 50 and withdraw 100. Instead of having something up here like our state uh, managed up here and some functions which um, update that, we're actually referencing, we're actually triggering these um, our functions down here as withdraw 50 and withdraw 100, which are dispatching, um, which we're dispatching with a type name, which if we jump back here, is um, their referenced here. So basically we're passing, um, when that button's click, it's clicked, it's passing um, reference to either withdraw 50 and withdraw 100 and then updating our global state which is stored in our store um, based on whatever we instruct it to do here. So for example it's saying if the action dot type we click down, go down here we can see the type is withdraw 50 then we're going to take the state which we've copied up here and we're going to minus 50 off that amount. Um, and whenever that global state is updated, then everyone who's subscribed to that, and my app is subscribed to it down here, because I'm mapping the state to procs, um, will be updated. Okay, that's quite enough for today. There's more I could attempt to talk about, but um, as a first go at Redux, I think that's enough.
Um, cool. Thanks.